I haven't said anything and people are laughing already. <laughs> We're off to a good start. <laughs> I like the ladies. I saw a girl with a shirt that said, you can't afford me on it. I was thinking if you're a hooker, that is really bad marketing. <laughs> it's good to be here. I just moved here like two months ago. I love LA, you guys are great. Uh, the Thank you. The first thing, the weirdest thing happened to me the first day here, I actually ran into a guy on the street who looked exactly like me. <laughs> That's not the joke. Because <laughs> I'm like, is this guy like me? Does he talk like me? Does he act like me? Because you look like this. You're going to be really smart or you're going to be really special. <laughs> The guy who looks like me is like either gonna find the cure for cancer or he's really gonna love the taste of paste. <laughs> I need to start dating. <laughs> Consensually. Um. <laughs> I like dating. <laughs> I, 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 it was cool, like the first week too, I saw the most beautiful girl in the world in LA at a pizza place. And when I see the most beautiful girl, I let her know by just staring at her real creepy like this. <laughs> That's hot. Weirdest thing, four hours later, I saw her in a bar, and I was thinking, this is destiny. This is the one I'm going to marry. So I knock on the bar window, I give her a little high. How you doing? <laughs> she calls me, and I'm like, hey, my name is Maddie. She looks me straight in the eye, and she says, are you special? <laughs> I'm weird. What can I say? I do weird things. I like going to shoe stores and I'll try running shoes on. Then I'll just do sprints all over the store like a madman. <laughs> then I'll just run right out the door. <laughs> as soon as the guy catches me, I'm like, these shoes are no good. Drooling, thank you. <laughs> Lovely crowd. Tough guy in the front. You right there, sir. I'll warn you, a week ago this guy heckled me. I had to go off the stage, I had to beat the crap out of him. That's not gonna happen tonight, is it, sir? <laughs> He just peed himself. <laughs> so we have uh, birthdays tonight. Uh, I had a birthday two weeks ago, April 7. Aww. Why is it when you have a birthday, all your male friends want to do is take you to a strip club? Like, that's where you gotta go, like, some skank on a pole is gonna make me get that pony I always wanted. <laughs> I don't like those girls. 
I'm not spending a dime on any girl just because she has very large fake tatas. There's a nice girl waiting for me in the library with eight cups. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> like you people. <laughs> By the way, this is not an act. <laughs> this is the real deal you're looking at right here. There is no steroids in this body. <laughs> this is all natural. <laughs> Because a lot of people think what I do is not really me. They say, what you do is an act, and this is a gimmick. I'm like, yeah, this is all an act, because when I go home, I'm actually six foot two. <laughs> I weigh 220 pounds, and I have 50 naked ladies waiting for me in my lair. <laughs> Always room for 52 ladies. <laughs> You guys are too nice. <laughs> I'm dedicating this set to my father. He passed away three months ago of cancer. <laughs> Sad, I know. I love the man, the greatest guy of all time. Let's dedicate this to him. It was weird though, because when he passed, the people say the weirdest stuff. They're like, no matter where you go, your father will always be watching you. <laughs> and I'm like, God, I hope not. <laughs> When I'm showing a woman my naked body on the internet, <laughs> I hope he's not watching. I had to call like all my father's friends like right before he passed, and he had this guy who was the dumbest guy in the world. Like three days before my dad died, he goes. Why didn't he go to the guy in Kansas City who cures cancer? And I'm like, wouldn't he be like in New York? And wouldn't he be like the most famous person in the world? And why Kansas City? Maybe that's why people die of cancer. They don't want to go to Kansas City. <laughs> the one joke that didn't work. <laughs> Will you forgive me? I might get lucky after this. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta try. <laughs> I love this though. This is like the best time I day. I love being up here. This is like the only time I smile is up here. And I should smile more because I have a nice smile. <laughs> When I leave here on the street, nobody knows what I do. I see all these beautiful girls. I want them to know I did well on stage. Sometimes they just get in their face. I'm just like, don't you know who I am? <laughs> and I gotta be honest, that the pepper spray does go through the glasses. <laughs> you guys have been so great. I'm Maddie Goldberg. Thank you. Very